back to my channel my name is precious and i'm your favorite medical student on youtube so if you are new here thank you for clicking on the video and if you are old thank you for coming back to my channel so today we are diving into the medical world and we are going to be solving some medical puzzle so medical puzzle is a new series on my channel where <laughs> Medical Pulse is a new series on my channel where I think about like old cases or new cases that were difficult for doctors to crack open and we see why together. And I've got my visitor here. She's ah, my ice cream and it's in a mug. And I know. So if you come for it, I'm going to pack it and ship it to your house. You have it to your house. <laughs> okay, okay guys. So before we go too far, before we go too far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We're going to be talking about this beautiful family, Mary and Rich Jordan. They said their family, I don't know, sometime, I don't know when it started. But, anyways, guys, Mary and Rich Jordan were married for a couple of years and they had a four year old daughter. Then they decided they wanted to expand their family and they decided to adopt. They had decided to adopt fraternal twin boys. So they brought this like bundle of joy into their house. Everybody was happy. They had new born. So they brought Jory and Patrick into their house. Patrick um Patrick weighed six pounds four ounces, while Jory weighed seven ounces. So like right from birth, Jory was like a bigger baby than Patrick. But then um on the way things they happening. Mary Jordan noticed that. Joey would always cry and always eat. Joey was always like disturbing in the night. They wouldn't be able to sleep because of Joey. Why? Why little baby? Why? Nobody knew. So they went to the pediatrician and then they, they, they tried to find out what's happening. But then the pediatrician was like, no, Mary, you're just being like um, a new mom. Don't worry, just go home and feed your child. I know most babies cry at night and it's normal, it's perfectly okay. But, but Mary knew, Mary knew something was wrong because Patrick would sleep. Um, peacefully at night but Joey will always cry and eat his food fast and after he finished eating his food he would throw up everything like he would just vomit everything he would project everything out so yes guys after Mary noticed this Mary was like my son is not okay Jory is not okay. Something is wrong with Jory. They went to, so they went to another pediatrician and she was like, I would always have to change Jory's diapers. Jory will wet his diapers faster, but he will finish drinking water faster. What is happening to my son? Pediatrician was like, Well, don't give him the bottle. Let him cry himself to sleep. So when I tried to put him to bed without the bottle, and he screamed, and he screamed, and he screamed. I'm surprised neighbors didn't come knocking on the door to see what is wrong with this baby because you've never heard anything so loud and so horrible. And the doctors were saying that I needed to become tougher and let him do it, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. I gave in and gave him. So guys, fast forward. Let's do the fast forward sound. Wait for it, wait for it. Years after we are here, we are there, we are there now. So Jory was still suddenly Jory stopped growing. Why? Jory was the fatter baby, Jory was the bigger baby than Patrick. But Patrick, it was like it was a change. Patrick was not the bigger baby than Jory. Jory stopped growing, but Jory was still eating. Then it was so obvious that yes, something is definitely wrong with Jory. After several months, there were new symptoms. Jory was very active, but he won't go outside without sunglasses. And then he would lick the back of his of his hand, and then we use each his eyes. It was like his eyes was always dry, so he always have to go outside with sunglasses because this, he was his eyes were sensitive to sun. There were other symptoms like Jory always wanted to to eat salt like whenever they give him food excuse me <laughs> so 
Let's say for example, so Jerry was licking this ice cream. He would bring salt and put on the ice cream. It was that bad. And then the Nigeria was always in need of water. Joe will not go to sleep without water. Joe will always wake up in the middle of the night and like, please give me the water, please the water, please drink it. I need water. I need to drink water. So yeah, so they had to go to the pediatrician again. Obviously, the pediatrician can say nothing is wrong again. So the pediatrician asked the question. The pediatrician asked the big question. What is the question the pediatrician asked? Pediatrician asked. Joey's mom, has Joey been tested for diabetes? Mm. Has Joey been tested for diabetes? And I feel like that's the test they should have done. I'm trying to be obje objective in this situation, but I just feel like that's the test they should have done since when the state complained that Joey always had dehydration. But anyway, I'm just a medical student. Joey was tested for diabetes, but then he was found negative for juvenile diabetes. So what's what's wrong if he's if he doesn't have diabetes? But then there was something else that was found in the test. I'm coming. Quick ice cream break. Mm. Yeah, let's go on. Joey had increase in protein and increase in salt and sugar rather. He had increase in protein and increase in sugar. So that pointed in the area that oh it has something to do with the kidney. That's what the pediatrician concluded. Like, okay, I'm going to refer you guys to a pediatric nephrologist. They went to the nephrologist, the pediatric nephrologist, and it was like, okay, the first step is to give you guys drugs for the excessive urination that Joey had. And then Joey was like calmer at night, like he wouldn't want to urinate and then finally his parents could sleep and enjoy their night sleep a little bit. Then um, the second step was that he referred them to go do ultrasound and then during the ultrasound they noticed that there was something fishy. Something fishy going on. Okay guys, there was something fishy there and then the, um, what's it called? He asked them to do kidney biopsy. Basically, what happens in kidney biopsy is that they take a part of the kidney and they put it under the microscope and look closely to what is happening. And guess what they found? The kidney wasn't absorbing nutrients and filtering toxins. Then the doctor, like them, um, what's it called, concluded that this is Fanconi's disease i don't know that it's disease or no it's not it's not disease Fanconi's syndrome is not a disease it's not a disease it's not a diagnosis it's rather a indicator of another disease so there's definitely something else wrong with joey that's why he's exhibiting Fanconi's symptoms what are the causes of Fanconi's syndrome it could be like the eyes the eyes is a major cause <laughs> The nephrologist referred them to an ophthalmologist. So got to the ophthalmologist, they're like, Excuse me, man, we need to see you. We have been referred by an pediatric nephrologist. We need to know what's happening to our poor Joey here. And then immediately, as soon as she examined the eyes, she found out that Joey had crystals in his eyes. Joey's mom was hysterical. She's like, Oh my god, my child. My child, my child, crystals in his eyes. What am I going to do? Is he going to lose his first of all? It was his kidney, his kidney was not absorbing nutrients. Now, is his eyes is he going to lose his eyesight? Is he going to have to have a um, kidney transplant? What's happening? But then, doctor was like, Calm down, mom, calm down. Let me explain to you what this means. Joey has this disease, crystallosis. Stanosis is simply a genetic disease which is caused by two recessive genes of the parents. Okay, so the meaning of stenosis is like amino acids in our body accumulated in the body in form of cysteine. And cysteine is a build block protein. So they were accumulated in Joey's kidney.
kidney and then it gravitates towards the eyes which then causes sensitivity to sun and then it leads to the kidney not being able to absorb water and nutrients and filter out toxins so basically that's what's happening with our poor jewelry that's, that's really sad outcomes of this disease is this to excessive urination it leads to digestion and then it leads to low put, um, potassium and then it leads to test that's this just explains the reason why Jerry was always drinking water and then finally it could lead to stunted growth why Jerry was not growing like Patrick his brother and his other pets and then finally it could lead to death that's the final outcome of this disease so basically people that have this disease they will always crave water and salt up to the extent that they wouldn't be able to take any other thing apart from salt and water. And we know like we are not taking things like food, you will not have those nutrients from food and it can lead to you know growing properly. So that was what was happening to Jeremy. So remember back to the anthologies, they are like, okay, now we understand what is happening to our son. What is the way out? What is the way out? What can we do for Joey? <sighs> Our pediatric nephrologist said there is no cure. There is no cure for poor Joey. But he will be giving drugs, giving eye drop. Excuse me. So he'll be giving those things to help. To help him through life, and Joru might have to take those drugs for the rest of his life. But thank, thank God for the diagnosis. Thank God he was diagnosed earlier in life. Joru is doing fine now, and he's better with his eye drops and his hormone, good hormone drugs, and other drugs to help him with the kidney. He's better, he's doing fine. And one more thing I forgot to mention is Jory might eventually have to take Jory might eventually have to get a kidney transplant. Maybe when he's older. I feel like that will actually be helpful for him. But he's doing pretty well so far. Last time I checked. Oh I just have to put this there. I don't know Jory personally. I don't know Mary Jordan or Rich Jordan personally. But I heard that story from somewhere. So, anyways, guys, they bring me to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you stayed to the end. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to those stuffs. Do everything. I don't even need to tell you. You yeah, are still to this end, like what I used to be to do. Click on the subscribe button. Come on, do it. So guys, I'll see you next week. Stay safe. Stay loved. See you and God bless you. Bye. You can find me at